So we know that if it's an even degree, that means we're looking for arrows that go the same direction. So both sides are gonna go the same. And if it's positive, that means that they will both go up. So it doesn't matter, you could draw, I'm gonna show you some examples. You could draw something like this, that would work. You could just make it a simple parabola, that would work. It doesn't matter how many times you do these little loop-de-loops, but at the end it has to go up. Both arrows have to go up. So there isn't just one way to write a graph or create a graph. It's important is that what what we're focusing on is what's happening on the ends of the graph both ends have to go up for an odd degree odd they don't go the same direction they go opposite and because it's negative i know that the right side is going to go down So I just need to create a graph that has the right side going down and the left side has to do the opposite. So it doesn't matter what it does in the middle, but the left side has to go up. In some kind of way, I just need to connect these two arrows so I can have it come down and do like some turns and then connect it. Or I don't have to have it do just, it could just do one turn and connect it. That's it. Any questions? Okay, take out your note packet. We're going to talk about some new vocabulary today. Go to page four. If you have a highlighter, I do have some. I had some. But if you have something to kind of, there's four vocabulary terms on this page that we need to talk about. Four vocabulary terms. Okay. All right, so there's four. I'm gonna go ahead and write them over here too. So the first one, we talk about the maximum. That's your highest point. The minimum, minimum, that's your lowest point. And then we talk about the little ones in between. The relative max, that's your heel top. I like to think of it as like a bump in the graph. And the relative min, that's the opposite of a hilltop, which is like a dip or a valley. All right, these are the four terms we're talking about today. And they're all in there. I highlighted them. I'll give you a minute to annotate. Now, if you have um, arrows that point up, so if you have an arrow up that has no max, and if you have an arrow that points down, you have no min. And because odd degrees have both, for an odd degree, they do opposite. Odd degree functions, they don't have a max or a min. Okay. 
So we're gonna look at some graphs and identify maxes, mins, relative maxes, and relative mins. And this is called the extreme, extrema of functions. Okay, so now let's take a minute and look at these graphs at the bottom of page four. And let's go ahead and write these out. So at the bottom, we're going to fill in our max. I think there's a little bit of space. It, it doesn't take a lot of space. So write max min and then relative max. and relative men. And we're going to do that under both graphs. Absolutely, yeah. These are your notes, and you can do any abbreviation you want to do. I almost did that, but then I said, well, no, then I don't want anyone to say, what does that mean? So, yeah, feel free to make any abbreviations that's going to help you. So, looking at this, do you see how we have two arrows pointing up? So that means that we don't have a max. We're gonna say none, we don't have one of those. The lowest point on this graph is right here. I'm gonna zoom in. So that would be our minimum. We don't have an arrow pointing down, so we do have a minimum. And that looks like it's halfway between negative four and negative six, so we'll say it's at zero negative five so zero negative five is the lowest we go now this graph also doesn't have a relative max because we don't have a hill top and we'll look at a graph next that does so we don't have a relative max either and this point is also our relative min any point that's a regular min is also going to be a relative min. So it is possible for it to be both. Both a relative and a max. All right, let's look at the second one. This is an odd degree, and we have an arrow pointing up and down. So that means we don't have either one of these. But we do have a heel top, so let me zoom in. Right here, this is like a heel top. It looks like a, a little bit of a smile. Okay, so what would be the ordered pair for that dot? So that point, oops. Okay, so that point is at negative two, positive eight. So we have a relative max at negative two, positive eight, because this is like a hilltop in the graph. It's a place where the graph was going up 
and then it made a u-turn and started to go down so that's called a relative max and that's at negative two eight so we're going to write that there And then if we continue to trace our graph, we see there is a, a place where it's, it's going down and it makes a U-turn to go back up. So here, this is a relative min. See where we have that little frown right there? Any place you have a frown, that means we have a relative min. Sorry, let me say that again. Any place we have a smile. A smile means we have a relative min, and a frown means we have a relative max. So here is my smile, and that would be at zero, 04. All right, any questions about that? All right, let's go to the next page and look at a couple more graphs. All right, so we have, do we have a maximum? Do we have arrows pointing up? Anytime you have arrows up, so look back here. Arrows up, no max. Arrows up, no max. So we have arrows up, so this will be none. We don't have that. Now for this one, can we tell which one is the lowest? It looks to me like they're the same, okay? So because they're the same, we're gonna list them both for minimums and relative mins. So again, any place you see a smile, so we have a smile here and we have a smile here. Both of those would be my minimum and my relative minimum because they're at the same place. So because they are at the same y value then they're both mins now if it was one i was trying to find one where if it was one where it was like one was lower does everyone see the difference if if it looked like this where one was lower then we would only have one minimum and two relative mins but because these look like they're at the same place, we're gonna list them both. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So this is negative two, and then one, two, three, four. So we have relative mins at negative two, negative four, and at positive two, negative four. And we're gonna list that both places. Do you see any frowns in this graph? Any place where it's a frown? There is a place and that's right here. And that would be my relative max. And that's at zero, one, two, three, four. All right, let's look at the next graph. So this is an odd degree. So this one is an odd degree. So because it's odd, we don't have, there is no max and there is no min. So for my relative max, remember, I'm gonna look for a frown. And there is a frown right here. So what is the top of that frown? The top of that frown is right here, and that's at zero two. 
for a relative men, I'm looking for a smile. And that would be right here. And that point would be at 1-1. One, one. Okay. Use this time to look at homework two. Sorry, homework one. Now you can do, I see your paper real quick. You can do question number four. For question number four on the back, the only thing I want you to answer is men, max, relative men, and relative max. You're going to leave the zeros and factor form blank right now. Also, I thought that September 18th was a Tuesday. It's actually next Wednesday. So your homework is due on Wednesday, September 18th.